Welcome back, people. We are finally here. We are now going to start The Walking Dead Season 2. As I've said in a previous video, this series is very important to me. It is one of my favorite series in all of gaming. Really good games. It's not too mechanically intensive as far as video games are concerned. It's more of a story-driven, like you know kind of game and so I find this to be very interesting content I've had people tell me that they find this to be very interesting content and it also has a feature where all your decisions matter and they can change the outcome of how a story is told which is also interesting because while you guys might see the decisions I make you could go back and play the game make different decisions and it would be a whole different fucking game you know but Anyways, like all new playthroughs, I must say, as a disclosure, hello, my name is Jaman. I am very, I guess, I like to curse a lot, and so my content is not necessarily, it is not necessarily by any means made for children, alright? So, don't come crying to me if you know your kids pick up bad language and start cursing because of me because it ain't my fault i am not a parent i do not have any kids i am not obligated to change up the way i make content for the sake of your kids because i can do whatever the fuck i want you feel me but that being said there are definitely other youtubers out there that are more kid friendly you just ain't gonna find them here nigga because i'm gonna do me and that's just how i am it's just for the sake of the content. I'm not going to change who I am because I believe in giving you guys my raw reaction to things. And if I see something that makes me say, holy shit, I'm gonna say, holy shit. Okay, now that, that out, that's out of the way, let's go ahead and start our game. There are some save files in here because I have played this game, just like the first game. I've played the first game maybe like 10 years ago and I played this one maybe seven or eight years ago again it has been a long long time since i have played this game so okay yeah that we don't want to do that because that's <laughs> those were my decisions from eight years ago so we're going to play and start episode one now the thing with these this series is that i'm going to plan on posting them every weekday or not weekday every weekend day is that even a term weekend day every weekend so saturday and sunday all right and because we're only going to post these two days a week i'm going to try to make these episodes a little longer so in the first game i was aiming for like 30 35 maybe 40 on some episodes but this series we're going to try to do like one hour you know and if I could get through a whole chapter in one episode, that is perfect. But I don't think that would be possible. So we're going to do one hour episodes, all right? But give me one second. I will be back. Okay, people, we're back. I just had to fix a lighting issue. Import season one save. Season two of The Walking Dead builds off season one's choices, as I explained, and consequences. The game will now automatically search your console for season one save files with complete episodes. Okay. Please, by all means, the save file has been found. A season one save file was found. You will now need to choose a save slot from season one to continue your story. Choices will be randomly generated for any unfinished episodes. But it's a good thing we finished all the episodes because, because people. Previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? <laughs> I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now. We, are those bad people dead? No. They're alive and suffering. They were very bad people. But if they die, it won't be because I killed them. I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. 
Clementine? Clementine! She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Die! Lee, I saw my parents. I know. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no! That told me that Krista. A very sad ending. If you saw the end of that, you saw my reaction to that. It was very tough, very tough. I almost cried, again. First time I played that game, almost cried. Second time I played that game, almost cried. If I play it a third time, I most likely will almost cry. If not, actually cry. Poor Clem. What do you think? Omid, you can't be serious. But it looks like she's found Krista and Omid. We are not doing that. It's good. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid Jr. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. <laughs> but I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. Hey, nigga, That's what? just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend. Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Who is we? If Krista is in here with me... Right? Hello? Is Krista not in here? Why would Krista be in the... The men's bathroom? Unless Omid is trying to help her because she's pregnant. How oh, gross. Ugh, what's that? Also, if you guys haven't noticed already, we are playing as the best character in the series. We are playing as Ke Clementine in this game. Which is amazing. And it's only right. Phew. Once we get rid of... Or... Good. No once they got rid of Lee. Guess it's safe to get cleaned up. This is the only character that is... Playable, really. Also, I found out that this game takes place in the Walking Dead comic Please book have water. universe. And in that universe, the events of like Figures. the zombie outbreak starting actually happens in 2003. So if you do the math, Clementine was born in 1994, which would make her older than me. She would be, if she is alive today in 2021. Oh, shoot. Oh, Clem. But if she was alive today, she would indeed be 27 years old.
Now, I know I said I played this game seven years ago, but I remember exactly what's about to happen. Quim, that's a rookie mistake. I see you. No shit. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Leave me alone. Don't think I will. Why not? Are you stupid or something? Get out here. You're gonna shoot a little ass girl? You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. Okay, well, I'm gonna just remain silent. You're not gonna shoot a little ass girl. I'm serious. What else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around. Come on. Don't. Give me that hat. No. My hat? Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. None of your business. Just give it to me. Who the fuck is... Like, who do you think you are? Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? I'm a Why little ass girl. Like they had all kinds of good shit. Omid handled this shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? I've been trying to explain that to you. What a bozo. <laughs> this nigga, man. Door closing. You you turn around like nigga. You're the one that opened it. I <laughs> That's fucked up. I mean, like, in that short introduction, we learned a lot. We learned that they, well, we've been known that Krista was pregnant, but, like, obviously she's more visibly pregnant. But at the same time, I'm not leaving a nine-year-old kid. Oh, she's ten now, excuse me. I'm not leaving a nine-year-old kid alone in another fucking bathroom to clean herself up. Krista, talk to me. <sighs> this will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. 
The wood's too wet to burn. There's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... I mean, that's Fox. I can't be mad at her there. We can't stay in one place too long. It's too dangerous. We need to keep moving. All we do, all we have ever done is move. But we never seem to get anywhere. What happened to our baby? Freezing. You think this is bad? Did they Wait abandon it? Wait till we get it? up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. Did they abort it? If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold. Or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. I thought the game was letting me play. I miss Lee. I'm sure you do. Now I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Clem, the fire stopped. We have to do something. <sighs> Man, is that a picture of Kenny? Man, burn this shit, bro. <laughs> burn this shit. What the hell? Ain't nobody got time for that. Burn that shit to the ground. We not wasting any time, dog. Why would she burn a picture of Lee? I just don't get that. I oh, gotta press and hold. License plate? What the fuck? North Carolina. Damn. Alright, Troy. Looks like Troy didn't make it. That's his license plate, y'all. <laughs> that North Carolina license plate. What are they cooking, bro? A dog? <laughs> Burn the log. The log might be too wet, though. Clem, don't panic. Do not panic, Clementine. Just evaluate the situation internally and make quick decisions. That's all, that's all you gotta do, girl. That's all you gotta do, my girl. 
<gasps> Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's it's just me. Come on, guys. We gotta save Back Crystal. Do you expect us to believe you're out here all alone? What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! <laughs> Is she getting her ass beat? Get the fuck over here! Now! Fucker! Come out here, girl! I'm not fucking around! Shit! Get the fuck over here! God damn it! Oh, fuck. I forgot zombies were a thing in this game. Because I, in real life, I am an elite swimmer. I could have made it through and got to the other side. I know how to control my body well enough to hopefully survive that current. Clem, on the other hand, understandable. She's a little girl. She probably don't even know how to swim. So she just gets washed up on shore. I can't be mad at her, though. I can't be mad at her. Oh, I know she's freezing cold, dude. Like, she just slept, like, damp for, like, the whole night. That's actually insane, yo. Kids camp. Wow. There you go. I'm surprised she even she's even strong enough to pull herself up like that. Krista, are you there? Clem, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't think Krista is here. I was gonna say, matter of fact, this might be Krista, right here, just dead. Which would be absolutely terrible. Alright, there's a grave over there. No, we're not gonna walk to the trail just yet. We're gonna look at this grave real quick.
because you never know people there might be something that you need to pick up you guys have seen if I mean I assume you've seen the first playthrough back when my camera was like all small and tiny we didn't have a an overlay and I was just a noob at being a youtuber oh but now look at us look at Clem the best character in the game and just like us on YouTube she has grown she has grown into a more independent child because she should be 11 or 10 years old at this point in time she might be 11 But I mean, like, if, if when you think about it, right? If this shit were to happen in real life, everything just like turned into chaos. The world just went to shit, and we're in like a living hell like this. Imagine like going years like living like this. I feel like the first three days would feel like a year. And so for like these characters to go for like actual years, even like decades. <laughs> Like, it's just insane to me. Like, you're living for years on end in constant fear, on straight survival mode at all times. It's okay, boy. It's okay. Our boy, hmm? A lot of help you are. I wouldn't pet it because that is a <laughs> What's he doing? that is a random ass dog. I personally would not touch a fucking stray dog like that in the middle of an apocalypse. What'd you find, boy? Where are you going? Wait up. Simply wouldn't do it. That's not the smart thing to do. My stomach is growling in real life too. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> so for hers to start growling, that's how you know we are just on a shared wavelength. There's no such thing as a coincidence, people. Remember that. <laughs> Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. There's no such thing as a coincidence. The fact that you're watching this video means we are energetically aligned when I'm just playing. <laughs> Who is that? Kim Possible? <laughs> Nothing edible. Hell no, nah, I ain't no Kim Possible. There's like a mix of Kim Possible and Laura Croft. Kim Croft, Think Laura been Possible. In here? I can't tell. Maybe we Ooh. better not wait around to find Lim out. Cop possible a throwing disc a frisbee hey wanna play wanna play catch five dollars says this dog doesn't fucking do it okay bring it back okay he actually cool. did it he actually did it Nice, that nigga actually did it, yo. Alright, and just for that, I will name him Nico. In honor <sighs> of the only dog that, that I know. Boy. <laughs> I 
Actually, I know why I said I would bet ten dollars or five dollars that he wouldn't do it. Because watch. Wanna go again? Just wait, just wait, just I bet wait. You miss this. I sure do. Let's go one more time. Go get it, boy. Darn. It was good while it lasted, though, right? Yeah. You're right. Shouldn't waste the energy anyway. That's what I thought was gonna happen the first time. But that isn't exactly what I thought was going to happen the third time. I thought I thought that was a uh, prerequisite to continue to the next section of the game. Here either. It might be. It might be, but. <laughs> Nico, what the hell is wrong with you? Hey, boy, what's the matter? Shh, we have to be quiet. I'm gonna look in this cooler, like there bro. Something good in there. Oh, God, no food on the grill, nothing in the cooler. Ugh, I hate scavengers. They take everything. Oh, this is a walker that's still... It's okay. He's dead. No, he's not. Well, Look, I mean, he is, but he's not. Like... Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Ever. <laughs> It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Alright, well, we can't do that, so let's pick up this branch. And just... Stand back, okay? I like how she's talking to this dog like he would understand. <laughs> like he would understand anything that's going on right now. She's like, stand back, Nico. I was gonna say, is this the first walker that Clem has had to bludgeon? I don't think it is, but like, at the same time, it might be. At least the first one that we've seen her do in the game. Alright, the brains are exposed. I think you're good, Clem. See? We just have to stay out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. So yeah, let's just take the knife. Girl, you gonna Still rub it sharp. on your fucking At Levi's? Least we found something useful. We Clem. won't go another night without food. Rookie okay? mistake, Clem. Rookie mistake. All right. So we have the knife. And, um, I'm not sure why the game doesn't display that on the left like it normally would, because usually it would show the list of items that are in your possession. But, not this time, for some reason. But, um, there's, like, nothing here, so... That begs the question, what am I supposed to do? And how many times have I asked myself this question playing these kinds of games? That is a rhetorical question. Please do not answer that. Please do not go into the playlist and be like, oh, will you actually? 
Uh, I went back and counted, sir. You actually Find asked 57 yet? times. There's a half-eaten apple in there. Everywhere. A half-eaten apple. There's always a half-eaten apple. <sighs> well, here we go. <gasps> oh my god. Thank you. Look, a can! <laughs> Let's see what's inside. I'm gonna keep it real. I would not give this fucking dog anything. Please don't be bad. Because when has a dog ever fucking shared food with you? Never. But they always expect that you share with them. the dog nah bro there's only enough for one of us look there's barely enough for me okay go find your own food thanks That nigga in the fucking face! <laughs> Boy, look at this shit. Like, even if you would have fed the dog, he still would have attacked. And that's, that's no cap. That is 100% confirmed. Like I said, I've played this game before, so don't even tell me, oh, you should have just fed the dog. No. Doesn't matter. You feed the dog, the nigga still attacks you. That's why I didn't feed him, because I knew he was an asshole. And for that reason, we gotta kill this dog. We gotta put him out of his misery. Let this serve as a lesson, Nico. Don't you ever. I'm sorry. She might be sorry. I am not. Don't you ever look at your stupid ass. Now look, alright. Now it looks like we're fucking bit. It looks like we're fucking bit by a walker. Watch that come back to like bite us in the ass. Somebody, we're probably gonna meet somebody just from like the cover of the game. Clementine is with people. They're gonna be, oh shit, she's fucking bit. Kill her. No, nigga. Y'all don't even understand. I am not bit. I was bit by a fucking dog. A selfish ass dog at that. A punk bitch of a dog <laughs> literally a punk bitch Clem I am so sorry that had to happen to you though I man Is she sick? Clem, you gotta get the fuck up out of there. You gotta get the fuck up out of there, Clem. Mm. 
Is she sick from the bite or is she just exhausted? I don't think the uh Oh shit. Who the fuck? I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta keep. She might just be exhausted. Unless that unless Nico had fucking rabies. That's probably what it was, bro. Now we're infected with rabies. Fuck. I think I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I'm like Half dead, bro. I, I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the uh, the people you're with? I was There's alone. no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Why would well, that matter, sir? I'm Luke. <laughs> And this is Pete. Hey there. Well, why Hi. would that matter? Luke? I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. And for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some. Oh shit! <laughs> what? What is it? What did she's... I say? She's been bit, man. Fuck! 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 What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? <laughs> I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm. All right. You see, Let's see. Whoa, if whoa, I was hey, in that situation. This. I would have flipped my hat backwards like, like Ash Ketchum and looked that nigga in the soul and been like, bitch, it's a dog bite. <laughs> See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. Bro, what human has, like... So where'd this dog go? He died. The one that did this. No, what, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? Right. I don't know. The you fuck? You attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Oh, says who? Says who? Nigga. Clementine. Dog run up on me. I'm... Yes? I'll, I'll see you, you in the next true. life, motherfucker. Because you ain't staying in this one. You look me in the eyes when you answer. Of course I am. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? <laughs> I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. Facts. Thank you, you Pete. You don't always beat me at. All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Facts, bro. Right. Tell his Sorry, ass, sir. Pete. Tell his ass, Pete. Come on.
Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit. Damn. Who the fuck is Carver? She and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not. <gasps> what the? Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not. I'm not working for anyone. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. You know what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, Thanks. she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones You one scared of a little ass girl? This bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. Okay, go ahead. He's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I wasn't bit. Street. No one suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? I'm on your side, kid. No need for a guilt trip. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. So they have a kid too. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? Find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Look, Who the I may be in the minority here, but my gut tells nigga. me she's telling the truth. It probably is just a dog bite. Probably. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. Man, what the what fuck? What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. Well, we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Out, with it. please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. Turns out you're telling the truth. I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's alright. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. Who is this motherfucker, bro? This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. 
Well, I don't understand why you couldn't just let me go. If you didn't want to help me, just let me go. You don't need to lock me up in the fucking shot. I didn't ask you niggas to, like, protect me or do any of this shit. All I'm asking is throw a little peroxide on that shit, stitch it up, and get me the fuck up out of there. And if you didn't want me to do that, just let me go. I'm a little ass guy and we're working for no George Washington Carver, whoever the fuck y'all talking about. And I'd rather be sure. I can't believe it either, Clem. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. I can't believe it either. And I can't believe this is gonna have to be the end of this episode for today. We're almost at an hour, 50 minutes, but I think this is a perfect time to uh, stop the video right here. So, leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. What would you have done in Clem's situation with the dog? Would you have fed the dog? Would you have tried to plead for your life? Would you have just told them you were bit by a zombie? Would you told them you were bit by a dog? Would you even ask these people for your for their help after you almost got shot by this trigger happy ass dude? Let me know what you would be what you would do down below. Also, consider subscribing. Like I said, I'm gonna try to make these videos an hour long and post them every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, because through the week we have our Pokemon series, and so two series going on at once we got to find time to make both of them shine so this one will take the weekend spot but that being said people make sure you turn on that bell for notifications for every time i post and that being said we are audi 5000 peace